almost a million dollars. They are off and pacing. A good start pushing through the inside was no pan intended. Fastest of all, totally Western. All American magic from the outside. And there goes All American Native gunning at the lead. Fourth in between horses is Tough Customer. He's forced to go on now. Can't find a hole in tight quarters. That is what an artist along the inside from six. Yankee Cruiser caught to the outside from seventh. Gone West in heavy traffic. Broadway make that uh, Bradley Hall is back there second to last into the first turn and Armbro Animate was 10th and last away. The quarter was a spirited 27 seconds and All-American Native where he seems to thrive has made the lead but Totally Western made him pay to be there. All-American Magic is on the inside third. Fourth and Overland all the way has been tough customer on the way to the halfway point. Up and at it from fifth came what an artist no pen intended is sixth on the inside gone west then forced wide Yankee Cruiser Bradley Hall and going out of contention in the second quarter out of the race Umbro Animate they made the half in 55 and 3 all American native and then his rivals as he's tugging hard on George Brennan on the way to the final turn totally Western is trying to keep up up on the outside uncovered now on that final turn but hard spent his tough customer at the flank of all American magic installing cover is what an artist on that final turn no pen intended trap sixth on the inside then gone west Bradley Hall doesn't look like it tonight as they came to the head of the stretch all American native cutthroat fractions 122 and 2 they enter the final eight of the Breeders Crown final all American native the fractions were just too much here's Canada's Mario Bayarjan coming on past with totally Western totally Western and Mario Bayarjan executes a Breeders Crown title for the ages totally Western over all American native tough customer and no pen intended Medio to Ella Gonyant to Ella Mayar. You are the best. You are the winner of the Breeders' Crown. Totally Western, 152 and 3. Jean is one happy boy, and so is Ben Wallace, as these two are embracing now in the winner's circle and uh, feeling pretty good, I must say. Mario, when you woke up this morning, you tell me the truth. Did you feel as though you had a Breeders' Crown win? Well, I thought he had a shot at getting some money, but uh, not winning it. And he, uh, he raced real good tonight. Trip one, worked out so well for you. Yeah, 122 and 3, and he was still strong in the three quarter. Then I thought, you know, I looked behind and I were about five, six ninth away from the field. So I thought we had a good shot there. Top of the stretch, you had to be licking your lips. Yeah, but, you know, not really. After the wire, I was. <laughs> I'm very happy for, especially for Ben Wallace, you know. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, this is my first British crown. And, uh, you know, beside my brother, that's the one I want to win for. Congratulations, just a super job. Mario Bayerjean and Ben Wallace jubilant in the Breeders' Crown winner's circle.